Now, today is World Sickle Cell Day. The condition affects mainly black people, West African and Caribbean. It's called sickle or crescent-shaped blood cells of the sufferers. They become hard and sticky and die more quickly than usual red blood cells, causing a shortage. Well, my guest um, represents the Sickle Cell Society. He is Kai Bangbola. He is the chairman um, and he has the disease. Thank you very much indeed for coming in today. It's obviously um, a big day, well, Sickle Cell Day. Just tell us first, before we discuss the day and the importance of it and, and, and what needs to happen on this day, tell us a little bit about the disease, who it affects and how many people suffer from the condition in the UK. Lovely. Well, firstly, thank you Thank you for inviting us, the Sickle Cell Society, to arise on this very special day, which is World Sickle Cell Day, and hello to all of your viewers. Um, sickle cell disorder is an inherited blood disorder, so you can't catch it. It affects people mainly from the African diaspora, but also across the Caribbean, across the Mediterranean, across Asia and the Middle East. And it's known that approximately one in seven people of African origin have the um, trait, the blood condition, and increasingly the demographic is shifting because one in 680 white babies also have um, the trait, the, the, the uh, disorder, well not the disorder but the blood condition. And you have the condition yourself, just tell us a bit about how it affects you and your everyday life. Well, it affects me um, not too badly because we I try not to be defined by the illness. So the doctors will say, you mustn't do certain things like skiing in the past. I'm new to this wheelchair. That's for a completely different reason. But um, the way in which it affects most people is the blood condition causes anemia and it also causes damage to organs. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it can cause illness, which is called a crisis. These are pains that occur at any site within the body where there's been a lack of oxygen, and that causes excruciating pain. It happens throughout the person's life um, on a very, um, sometimes very regularly, you can be hospitalised several times of a year. The pain is likened to being repeatedly axed or childbirth. So it's excruciating. Yeah, and it's the, the, the pain that um, a lot of sufferers, um, I, I can tell, are frustrated by the fact that some people don't understand that they're in pain or that they're sporadically in pain or that, um, you know, uh, even sort of medical providers don't quite understand that. Is that something that it's quite difficult to get across to people who don't have the condition? Well, considering the condition was founded in 1784, identified all that time ago, over 140 years ago, you would like to think that uh, an illness as common as this, which is why the World Sickle Cell Day arose, to recognise it's the world's most common blood condition. So there have been issues that relate to quality of service and inequalities. That is the case. Um, but ostensibly what we need is to develop this awareness, which is why the World Sickle Cell Day has come about. And you are the chairman of the Sickle Cell Society charity. What is the mission of the society? Well, the society was established as a charity in 1979, uh, so nearly 36 years ago. Our mission is to enable and assist people with sickle cell to um, achieve their full potential economically as well as socially. The organisation is also established to develop understanding of the illness and we achieve this by various mechanisms, whether it is lobbying, whether it is education and training, whether it is um, matters of... Um, research because extensive research is needed into the subject so we're constantly working with our stakeholders whether they're GPs hospitals NHS but most importantly the people that need our support and we're always asking for members and making sure that we can get funds so that we can do more and today is World Sickle Cell Day how are you as a society marking the day well, World Sickle Cell Day was um, established by um, an undertaking of the United Nations in December 2008. And its specific purpose is that nations that are part of the UN um, can, on this special day, develop awareness through all the organisations that work within those nations and awareness specifically of sickle cell. 
Now, the Sickle Cell Society will be having a launch later on today of a new service that's in Brent, North London, and that service is for pre-admissions and also post-discharge. So we support people before they go in hospital and give them extra support when they leave. Well, uh, yeah, talking about support, what more needs to be done, do you think, across the UK and the world to help people with the condition? Um, a lot more needs to be done in order to establish some of these equalities. Recognition um, that it, there's a huge number of people that suffer from sickle cell. So over 15,000 people in the UK, that's one in every 2,000 people. That's quite high. And at the same time, in terms of the trait, which is the ability to be able to pass on the genetic predisposition, um, that is nearly 380,000 people. So it's, it requires a lot of understanding amongst our medical professionals and amongst the public. And I would often like to say this is a really big issue and you need to know about it. Um, so everybody do whatever you can and you're welcome to contact us which is the Sickle Cell Society. We have a fantastic website, www.sicklecellsociety.org. Well, Kai, hopefully coming on the programme, you've um, told a lot more people about the disease and they've been educated as a result. And best of luck with the launch of that service um, today. But thank you very much indeed for thank coming you. in. Thanks a lot.